Hi, this is Mike Wallach with Trimec, and I want to show you a difference between how SolidWorks and Katia V5 handle multi-body part design. So here in SolidWorks, I have a very simple multi-body part created, just a box and a lid. I created this from a single sketch, Sketch 1, which is shared by both Boss Extrude 1 and 2, and it's just a 12 inch by 12 inch square. So I extruded that to create my boss feature, Boss Extrude 1, then shelled that, so that's the bottom of the box. Then I extruded the same sketch again, upward, to create Boss Extrude 2. And critically, I unchecked the Merge Result option in Boss Extrude 2 so that I would get two solid bodies in the folder instead of just one, box and lid. And I've colored them blue and green just to make it easier to see the difference. Now, let's take a look at an approach for creating the same model in Katia V5. I have my new part created, and in the part body container in the specification tree, I have my 12 by 12 sketch already created. I can expand that sketch in the tree, look at its subtree, and look at every aspect of that sketch accessible right here from the specification tree. Right now I don't need that though, I just need to select the sketch and extrude a pad. This pad is going to be four inches high, and I'm going to reverse direction so we extrude this downward. Now I'm going to shell that. It's going to be a quarter inch thickness, We'll remove that face. So here is my box body. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this feature. So I'm renaming the folder, the container for the part body to box, and I'm going to change it to blue to match what I have in SolidWorks. Now I need a new container for the lid. Unlike SolidWorks, with Katia, I need to create this container for my, for my body before creating it. If I just go on adding features right now, then it's just going to be extra features that are part of the box. So I'm going to go to Insert, Body, and now I'm going to rename this body container a lid, and I'll go ahead and color it green right now while I'm here. Now, rather than using the same sketch again directly, I'm going to copy sketch one and paste it into the lid. Now with sketch two, the copy of sketch one selected, I'll extrude a pad, quarter inch up, and there's my completed box. So with Katia V5, the specification tree structure determines what features are going to be part of which body. So each body has its own independent subtree within the specification tree. Now if I were to want to go back and work on the box body, then I could right click on it and define that as my in work object and now any changes that I make will be added to this section of the specification tree affecting the box body. If I want to go back to working on the lid I could define that as the in work object and make further changes. So very different approaches between SolidWorks which where the bodies are driven by decisions in the feature manager tree and Katia where decisions in the tree structure determine the, the number of bodies prior to creating those features. I hope you found that interesting and have a good day.